Hey Jenny, this is for you. I'm gonna repeat my words of wisdom <laughs> that I shared with just now my birthday. I first wanted to talk about about love and now that I'm approaching all these production companies and networks with my TV show and you know I'm looking for sponsors and I need to ask. I need to ask people for um Give me, and it's kind of hard. And I start noticing also in like relationships, and it's such a special and important thing in my love in my life to love, and and you know to give love to everyone and to love everyone, and you know love is you know how the temple is going to be rebuilt, and you know we're going to be redeemed by love. And I realized that I noticed that. It's hard for me to receive love. Like I'm such, I think it's so important for me to love everyone, but it's hard for me to love myself. Um, and I'm going to talk about it more soon about life as a journey to love yourself. But the big thing that I'm just noticing recently in my life is that it's hard for me to receive love from other people, and I'm I'm going now to ask for money for my show and. And it's it's hard for me to receive love, and it's such a difficult thing. So I decided to talk about that. And what I did was I brought sources, biblical sources. I think you know the Bible is basically like our ancestors talking about the same issues that they predicted, or you know, same issues that they were thinking that they were going through, and thinking that that that, that could help us as their descendants. So, just a biblical thing. One of the it talks a lot in the Bible about the mitzvah, the the commandment, and a lot. All the commentators are trying to figure out what is the commandment, because the Bible is full of commandments. But there's the ha mitzvah, right? So they look for the first area, first place in the Bible where it talks about that commandment, and they look for the closest commandment that's next to it, and that's the commandment of love. In Hebrew, it's "Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha b'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshicha u'v'chol molecha," and that is in English basically, you should love God in all of your heart, in all of your might, in all of your possessions, and and then it's just basically asking, what does that mean? Like some, you know, later, what what, what does that mean to love God? What is God? And I was trying to bring in that that concept of God, like you know, Judaism kind of tries to teach that there's an approach, a lots of approaches, but God is like an inner thing, like our soul is part of God, and you know, we have part of God in us. We create our words, make reality, we create the world, um, and we're godly. So it's, it's love yourself, right? And and that's really life. It's like a journey to love yourself with all of your might, with all, with all of your passions, with all of your possessions, and it's really learning to love ourselves, um, which is really the way I see love. And then there's also that aspect of God that is around you, that aspect that tells you that it takes you out of the perfectionist uh, way of seeing the world. Like, you know, you're, you know, sometimes reality is bigger than you, and God is, is you're part of God, but God is, is also around you. And I think that approach, if we could, you know, just listen to what I'm saying for a second and not, I guess, not connect to all the other things that you ever learned about, you know, God being greater and God Almighty. I think that I personally, as, you know, studying positive psychology and research, and um, I think it's kind of an education. That's why I see it right now. I think it's an education to... Uh, to see reality, um, it's a choice to see reality. See, so we are the people of choice, right? And I don't know if there's a God. And that's why it's a choice. It's like a decision. That's why it's faith. Because, um, you know, whether there's God or not, at the end of my life, I'm going to look back. I'm going to look back at everything I went through. And I'm going to see my life with all the ups and downs I went through 
and they could be either ups and downs that I go through, you know, confused, whatever, and get to a, you know, just ups and downs. Or I could see them as ups and downs where I believe that they come from this good place, this good source, this something that wants the best for me. Um, and I think looking back at my life, you know, whether there's that or not, I think I'm going to live a better life if whatever happens to me, I'll believe that it's from a sweet place, from, you know, from this divine fatherly thing, which I guess is originally the way that Judaism, I think, wanted us to see that, or whatever, Judaism or not, whatever it is, I think that's the best way. Um, looking at your life and believing that whatever happens is for the best. Even if you don't really know that, whatever's going to happen, you're going to be more in a, an easy, you know, peace of mind. And there's so much to talk about hope and how hope is um, a healing thing. You know, people in crucial situations, like, you know, hope could really bring you out and could really cure disease. And, um, anyway, so it's, you know, kind of like God is a choice and that's like sweetness. And so the other aspect of that commandment, the commandment, that love. So it's like the love yourself and love reality. Like, think of reality as good. Be optimistic. And these are, you know, I think that's the commandment in my eyes anyway. Love, love God and all of your might and all of your possessions and everything um, in whatever way you can. That's love yourself, love your soul, and, and love reality. Believe that everything is for the good and everything is for the best. So that, this is fun. Um, this is, I really think that this is the journey of life. Um, and I wanted to share for my birthday just what I'm going through right now um, in my personal life. Um, just part of my own journey of, of love. Um, that this realization that I'm going through, that it's, you know, I, 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 if you know me, Jenny, <laughs> I, I walk up to people on the street and I tell them that they're beautiful or, you know, whatever compliment I could give, I, I see it as such a high value to love and to make everyone feel loved. Um, I think that's so important. But what I just realized is that, you know, making a birthday party for myself was so hard for me. I was sitting with Casey and um, he was telling me that, you know, of course all these people are going to love to come because they're coming for you, Shalavi Simchan. I was like, why would they come for me? Um, you know, spend the time and effort. And he's like, no, you're you're married. Like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing to come to your party. And I just, it struck me that it's so hard for me to believe that. And now, I know that maybe not everyone's like that. You know, maybe for some of us it's easier to receive love than others. Um, but I know that we all have parts in our personality. I think everyone has a part that affiliates with what I'm talking about right now. That part that doesn't feel worthy and doesn't feel deserving of, of receiving love. So I kind of made that the theme of my birthday, to receive, when to receive. Um, as I'm working to see myself in a better way, um, I'm trying to learn to like receive love. Like, you know, I'm trying to learn to love myself and, you know, to think of myself as, as really good, to think, my, to think of myself as pretty. You know, I, I don't always feel that way. You know, we don't, we're not always, sometimes I have, have gl glimpses of times where I feel pretty, I feel beautiful, I feel loved. But a lot of the time, I, you know, I go through phases where I don't feel loved or I don't feel deserving of love, I don't feel worthy. And a lot a lot of times actually and that is so so interesting that it's so hard for me to think that people love me and that there's love all around me because you know in reality really there's really love all around you like most people actually love you and whatever they do to you is out of love even you know sometimes it's out of love for themselves if they try to make themselves feel better so they'll say something that might hurt you but it's just because they want to feel better like, you know, we're all, we're all trying to feel better and trying to make things better. And it is kind of everything is from a place of love. Um, and people really, most of the time, love you and, and 